What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? This is David here with Mac Tutorials 14. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to change your root SSH password. Alright guys, so if you watched my last tutorial, I highlighted how to change your default boot logo for your device. Following my dangerous and educational tutorial, I felt like I shouldn't have thrown a video out there without this tutorial as well. The reason why people need to know this, now more than ever, is because of this thing I highlighted in my previous video called DCLR Override, or as some people have called it, NVRAM. If you change the values of NVRAM or DCLR Override it like I showed you previously, and you even enter in one character wrong, it will brick your device. Bricking simply means that it will essentially be a brick meaning that it won't do anything, it won't turn on, and it can't be fixed with this simple DFU restore. With the release of DCLR override, people may and can intentionally put malicious files on your device and can even execute the wrong code in order to brick your device. Alright guys, so let's get started with this tutorial. So the first thing you guys are going to have to do is go ahead and head over to the link in the description below. Go ahead and download CyberDuck. I already have it downloaded though from my previous video. So go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and hit open connection. Scroll down to SFTP, SSH file transfer protocol. Go ahead and select that and put in the IP address which is 192.168.1.7 and go ahead and enter root and then the password regularly is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. So we're going to go ahead and press that. And as you guys can see, it is so easy to get into root access. There you go. Now I'm on my device and I'm on root access. So now all we're going to do is actually just go ahead and press go. And once we press go, we're going to select open in terminal.app. Once we do that, you should see it should bring up a terminal shell window. We're going to actually type in the password, which is A-L-P-I-N-E, Alpine. And now we are in, as you guys can see. And now we're going to actually just type in P-A-S-S-W-D and hit enter. And it says changing password for root new password. So we will type in T-E-S-T-1-2-3, so test 1-2-3. And once we go and press enter, it's going to ask to retype it, so T E. ST123. And once we go ahead and do that, we should see that our root password has changed. Alright guys, so now I'm actually just going to go ahead and test it out. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect here because we're already connected. So now it's going to say allow and it's going to say login. So we'll type in A-L-P-I-N-E, Alpine, which is the default password. You guys can see it rejects it. It says login failed. So now we're actually just going to type in the one that we changed it to, which is T-E-S-T-1-2-3. So test 1-2-3, T-E-S-T-1-2-3. Login and as you guys can see, there you guys go. We have successfully changed our root SSH password. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Before I go though, I just wanted to give my friend Ricky a shout out because he made the song you're about to hear in my outro. It's called Scholar. It's by Ricky Iolucci Music. The link to the song will be in the description. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until next time, this is David, signing out. Peace. Greatest scholars. It will relax you.